Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishal. In this video, let's have a look on the Q mesh of a Z Modeler in ZBrush. It's a polygon action right now I'm talking about. So before getting into the video, I have a question for you. Can you please let me know what which is your favorite 3D software which you use for digital sculpting? Let me know in the comment section. So before getting into that, uh, uh, just uh, we have a quick review of this tool called Extrude. So we have this Extrude tool which is going to extrude our faces. So we have also Q mesh here, which also does the same thing. Now, what's the big uh, difference between the extrude and uh, the Q mesh is, let's say if I extrude this and then uh, move it here. And uh, let's say if I uh, divide this using my dynamic subdivision, you should be able to see these two models are really separate. They're, they're not welding with each other, even though they are at the same level. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Q mesh instead, just click and drag and then when I do the dynamic subdivisions, you don't see the separation between these two extrusions, which were done at different time levels. Uh, so uh, here we got uh, the target to single poly and uh, you could also choose different uh, polygon targets. So we have aligned to 10 step. What is that actually means is when I'm just clicking and dragging, you should be able to see uh, this uh, is one level at which the polygon was stopped. Now you could see that stops at different uh, points while I'm dragging it. And it is actually dividing the total space into 10 equal parts and it's every step it's snapping that way. So you have quarter step, it will uh, show one, two, three, four. So if you just pick it to the half step, it's going to do two uh, times while I was, uh, you know, dragging it that way. When I say no alignment, I can smoothly travel between that start point and end point while dragging. There is no snapping while I'm doing this job here. So that is what we have this alignment uh, for. We also have a one side poly. What that actually means is when I'm dragging uh, an extrusion here, when, when I'm pulling this out, it's normally coming with one single poly. But when I choose multi side brushes, then you should be able to see there's a step every time. And that step is adding a loop there. And this is depending upon my brush size. So the brush size is bigger. The step size is bigger. The brush size is smaller. The step size are all smaller there, which you can also control by step sizes here, uh, which is uh, 0.1 right now. If I go here and then uh, reduce that value and then you, you will get this one here. So the, the difference is clearly seen with the value of the number what I have taken there. Uh, so we have a normal attraction and weak attraction. What that actually means is when I extrude a face and then extrude the other face here. Um, let me choose this to maybe half step and drag it. Uh, so the fusing at, at which pace it is happening is what the attraction is meant here. This attraction is depend upon the brush size. So sometimes when the uh, brush size is bigger, the, the the fusing is very slow. And when I take the brush size to smaller, the fuse is like very quickly, it's moving to the snap point. But when I'm taking the big brush, it's allowing me to drag slowly up to this and then it's responding to the snap there. But here it's, it's way quick. You should be able to see that thing. So that is what the normal uh, weak and no attraction thing. But when I'm choosing this option here, I don't see much of difference in the way it is attracting, uh, but that's what it is meant here. So we have another option called triangle snap. While I'm doing this, it's it's going to give me a triangle shape here for the first step. Later on, it, it starts giving you that half and full uh, snappings there. But, but the first one is going to be triangle. If not, the first one is actually acquired there. It's no triangle in this area. We also have a disable extended snap, so which is nothing but when I click and drag, the snap stops at a particular point. It doesn't move beyond that area. It's, it's stopping there. But when I just say uh, enable extended snap, it's going to move beyond uh, my previous face, which is going to be helpful in some cases. Uh, and the next thing is uh, we also have uh, uh, some options which I've discussed in extrude also. Like when I'm extruding or pulling the face outside, if I hold shift, it's going to work as the move tool. So I can just grab that face and there's no extrusion there. If I hold control, I'm only moving the face and not bringing uh, the connected uh, faces there. And uh, when I hold alt, it's going to cycle between the poly groups. Uh, it, it gives you different poly groups all together. So we also uh, have this negative, uh, um, you know, shooting the face uh, down, which we have. We don't have in normal extrusion, which is a great way to model hard surface modelings in general. So explore all these options in QMesh. If you got any questions, let me know in the comment section. And also I request you to like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.